Radio Land. Once again, defense coming to you from the Fagel Lovers booth at the Gathering 2005 Crystal Forest. Now I'm sitting here once again. Scotty is once again videotaping me on our ghetto ass mic. But this time, instead of losing, we are sitting with half of the Underground Cycles contest. The Axe Murder Boys. Otis, say hello. What's up? Gotta talk loud in that. Yo, what up, microphones? And then, uh, of course, Bones Brothers, and also right next to him, whose voice is a little shitty, so we'll have him say hello, and that's about it. There we go, dog. What's up? There we go. Are we coming out of these speakers? Oh, uh, not right now. Right, we're not turning out speakers right now. We turn it down so we can keep Because it gets really annoying to people at home when we're trying to listen to actually hear it. So, uh, let's go and start real simply. Uh, what got you guys into rapping? Uh, probably Satan, no, I'm just playing. Well, we started rapping, I started rapping when I was 12, and it was all off the Wicked shit, all off the Esham, you know what I'm saying? So I've been rapping Wicked shit since I was 12, but when I did it when I was 12, I sounded like a little girl, angry about something, you know, like, so it's like, so that's why, you know what I mean, we took years and years, honed our skills, and now we're doing this thing, and we bring the Wicked shit all day. So, uh, let's see, what's asking this? I was going to ask Bones a question, I was preparing guys to go but Bones' yeah. voice is pretty much gone, because you know, the truth is, you guys did an incredible show, no doubt yes. you're one all out. As you can see on the video, Bones' mic did go out, so he was yelling pretty loud throughout it. It was pretty awful. You guys had a fucking insane show. Hell yeah. How do you feel about your show? How, what do you think the play is on to do all of that? Let's hear about what you thought was on the real cycle. Well, the shit is dope. We're very grateful for the entire thing because it gave us major exposure. And on top of that, we got to meet all of our fucking heroes from all the Hatchimals. Everyone from, everyone from Alex Abyss, Alex Abyss to Nathan Extra to fucking Ride Ride, everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's been the shit. As far as the set went, it was the best show we've ever put on. Even when Bones and Mike went out, it was only out for a good 30 seconds. And then fucking they handled it. And on the new one, the first line he said after he got his new microphone was from a song we do called All I Know. And the line goes, uh, what, how's it go? I didn't, I didn't take shit, but I brought back your shitty microphones. And that shit was just a classic. It was just dope. Came together. So we, we rocked that shit. We were backstage psyching up, so we didn't get to see too much of DLC set. But, uh, you know, who gives a fuck anyway, right? We rocked our shit hard as fuck. So you guys have gotten a chance to chill around with the Hatchet family and everything. So what does it feel like to be here? Because I know you guys have been in previous gatherings as watchers, like yeah. the rest of us. And what's it like to be on stage in front of God that had a new what? Thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Just, what's that fucking feel like? It was scary as hell. But we were shining all day, man. We got up there, the sun was in our faces, and we put on our best performance we've ever done. And we've done two full tours. You know what I'm saying? So it was the shit. It was better than anything we could ever experience. And then plus, you know what I mean, we ain't hiding in the back. You know what I mean, we ain't just chilling backstage doing nothing. We're out in the shit with the juggalos rolling around, fucking getting our steak burgers on, which suck, and fucking doing our thing. All day we fucking are chilling with the juggalos. We're out here with free shirts, the new underdogs EP, fucking everybody up. Where my free shirt at? Hell yeah, we got Scotty a free shirt. I don't think I want to change Brooks' shirt, because that's just gotta be ruthless with he's sporting right now. But on top of everything, we're in the crowd with the Juggalos because I'm a seven-year Juggalo, Bones is a nine-year Juggalo, and we're gathering veterans, so hell yeah. Alright, uh, we got some internet questions coming in, just a few of them. But, uh, we're going to start with one real simple one. Your last hey, album, was it from? The Unforgiven Forest, uh, Empty Boy. Right, He's asking about how the ROC collaboration came about and how did that go? It was the shit. We hit him up and fucking... You know what I mean? We hit him up. We hit everybody. Everything we do is very professional. So when we hit him up, we hit him up very professionally. And, uh, and his manager got back to us. And from there, it just came together. We got the track. I had to do a couple little editing things, a little remixing, and uh, put it out. And it's the fucking bomb. ROC killed that shit. And now ROC, we just found out here, for all these juggalos that don't know, we ain't got mutant. All right, I can't really drop that, but all I'm saying is the drop it. Drop it. Witch Killers is coming for your face, and it's going to be the shit. But yeah, that track was the super shit. It was the bomb, and it just came, he did it because he was feeling us. And we're going to put up on our website a radio, he, a radio interview he did with our homie Juggalo J at the Juggalo show where he gave us major props and kind of explains 
I've been tracking about so we'll put that up for sure and uh, MT Boy can fucking download that shit. We can hear it from RLC himself. Alright, I guess uh, the next question would have to go with uh, you guys have any, uh, since the gathering began, you guys have the, as you can see, the all access super VIP cool guy pass that makes you better than us. Uh, so, do you guys have any fun stories that have happened when we've been here with side artists? Anything interesting you we've run into, good shit or anything like that? Man, we just, you know what I mean, talk to Alex a lot. Alex is the fucking, you know I mean, all you juggalos out there, anyone who thinks Alex Abbas, Abyss is an asshole, you're fucking mistaken, because he's a genius behind all this shit, and he's the shit for real. Him and his nephew are the bomb, and we've been chilling with them a lot, rolling around, we've been chilling with Nathan a lot, you know what I mean? As far as the rest of the Hatchet homies, they're super busy, you know what I mean? The All-Stars are crazy busy, but we smoked with a couple of them, chilled with a couple of them, and fucking, everybody's just got super love. You know, I mean, we were on stage at a club crunk with ABK and Lavelle, and uh, that was the shit. That was crazy hype. And uh, yeah, just backstage at a club chaos with, with everybody, too dope, and just chilling with everybody. So it's been super good. Everybody's been shining like crazy, but mostly we've been out in the, out in the crowd with the Juggalos because that's where we belong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Soul WL wants to know what you guys think your chances are of actually taking over the big prize. Well. <laughs> it's on. That's that's bones right there. His voice is fucked, but our chances are good, and it's on like Megatron. We, you know what I mean? We've always been the underdogs of the contest since it started, but that's how we were since day one. Since even since when we were in high school, we were fucking the underdogs everywhere. Always, you know what I mean? And our competition has always been threats. So it's nothing different. All I'm saying is, is what we're doing is the shit, and we're doing it for the Juggalos from a Juggalos perspective. You know what I mean? As far as odds in the contest, at St. Andrews Hall, we were, uh, you know what I mean? We were uh, maybe a 5 to 1 underdog. Now it's 50 50. And uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a monumentous, if that's a word. George probably came up with that. George Bush probably yeah, that monumentous day in, in Hatchet history. Alright, cool. Speaking of uh, underdogs, you guys performed the whole song. After St. Andrews, you know what I mean? St. Andrews was not our best performance at all. We still rocked that bitch, but it was hot as fuck. And our songs, we had to do our songs from the demo. And I didn't remix them or nothing, so the shit was whack. But uh, leaving St. Andrews, we were just solidified as definitely the underdogs of the contest. So we went home, formulated the plan to look the Juggalos up with a free EP and give them a taste of what we really have, which is some, you know, some of the better songs off the Unforgiven Forest, and we thought we'd hit them with a new one, which was what Underdogs was. We recorded it after St. Andrews, mastered it, mixed the whole thing, and then we got all the hardware done and pressed it prior to the gathering. So we hustled our ass off. We also got 400-some t-shirts made. All this was for free just for the gathering. You know what I mean? So we, that's what that's how that came about was to show everybody where we're coming from and what we represent all day. All right. So since the juggles for a little while here, we want to know, of course, the famous questions come from Juggle Fago 05. What is your favorite flavor? I'd have to say because it's like I only drink water nowadays. You know what I mean? I've been drinking water straight for a year now, but. I partake in the Fago mostly on the tours and shit. And I would have to say number one is orange pop, number two is root beer. Bones, you tell me yours. Yeah, Bones is blue movement. Word. They don't make it no more, but blue movement. This shit makes with pop bits. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It was all over the gathering two years ago. Everywhere. It was the shit. Alright, we got uh, other questions coming. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, uh, Rabble, what's up, sir? We're having two tricks. Do you actually have any other tracks other than the one parts of ROC? We can have a popular guest. Uh, well, he's the... You want me to drop that to the bomb? Well, it's eventually gonna happen. All right, the major bomb is that Mikey Clark is producing the Project Dead Man with the new member, King Gordy, track. Uh, Project Dead Man and the Axe Mother Boys for the next album. So that's a fun album, actually. As that's been two Mikey Clark bombs in one day. What the fuck's with that shit? <laughs> Mike Clark is the best. Unless that we win the contest, then it's with all of that. Yeah, action. yeah, straight up. And if we win this contest, then hey, look for those big names, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucking Don 
Omegas, Dark Lotus, what's up? Unfortunately, just would like to hear, we had a, we just had delusional do it. I'm not gonna ask you to do it, folks, don't worry. You gotta ask you to freestyle some of those. All right, cool. And you gotta do twice as good as those is pretty much fucking cool. So you gotta make it up for it. All right, uh, we at the Gotcha. 2005, A and B stay steady, rocking heavily live. Who gives a fuck what you say about the contest or not? Cause we rock our shit steadily, always no pot. I don't smoke shit at all, but I smoke mad mics and I'll fuck you in your ass unless you a dyke. I don't give a motherfuck, I only fuck mad bitches. And I come through hustling, trying to win them riches. Not at all, cause if I get money, I'm giving it to my nephew. Don't fuck with me, man, cause I definitely won't test you. I'm coming and you know, underground's how we roll. A and B motherfucker, underground psychos. What? There you go. That's the shit right there. That's the shit. That was shit. whack right there. <laughs> that was, was, that was the shit I thought, man. That was whack. It wasn't delu delusional. Right? He's standing right here. He's looking at you. He's going, that wasn't as good as mine. Delusional fucking lay down. Fucking the tracks of all these herds. Hey. Shit. If you ain't checked him on the Jump Steady record, keep that shit, you know what I'm saying? Jump Steady is the most honorable motherfucker in the world, and to be on his record, you know what I'm saying, that's devastating, so watch out for delusion. Defense, get your fat fucking head out of the way. I love please. the axe murder boys! Hell yeah! I'm just looking around, Scott. Oh, I love the murder Alright. Devastation, pure devastation. We're gonna come harder than any album we've ever brought with the help with the help of psychopathic, you know what I'm saying? Buy the Unforgiven Forest. Don't buy it from long range distribution, but buy it. You know what I'm saying? And we'll fucking and you know what I mean, listen to that and just think think of that with production and help from the hatchet, you know what I'm saying? I can't drop the name of what our next album's gonna be because depending on what happens, things might change. All I'm saying is, is look the fuck out. Because if we get on and if we win this shit, we will bring it harder than we've ever brought it. Because we're juggalos ourselves. And if we let the juggalos down, that'd be like that'd be like slapping my mom, you know what I'm saying? That's just something you don't do. So we'll work our ass off y'all. And if it's whack, you know what I'm saying? We'll work our ass ten times harder for the next one. Uh, other questions. What's the beef with long range distribution? Uh, what's the beef with long range distribution? <laughs> they don't fucking pay people. Uh, hey, the guy's a good guy. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Trump is That's a good true. guy. I'm trying to expose anybody. But right now, they haven't paid us for our records. You know what I mean? We're not trying, you know, we're not super baller status trying to have money all the time. But when you press a record on an independent label, you want to get paid for that motherfucker. And they're only giving us $5 off of every record sold which is damn near what we paid for every record made. You know what I'm saying? And that's a 21 track banger right there. So, you know what I mean? We're not trying to get paid so we can ride around in our fucking SUVs or nothing like that. I drive a Ford Aspire, motherfucker. What we're trying to do <laughs> is get that money to press more records and more samplers and more underdog EPs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking them. They got a good business, whatever the fuck. All I'm saying is don't buy our record from them. You can buy our shit at Kill Music and, and Red Rum Media, exclusively distributed by Canonized Records, you know what I'm saying? And buy it from the murder store, CanonizedRecords.com. Other than that, that's all I can say about that. I mean, the guy's cool, he's understandable. He never answers anybody's emails, so if he's here or if he hears that shit, you know, pay me, motherfucker. But other than that, we're, cause it's five fucking, that's it, you know what I'm saying? But either way, they're cool guys. We're not knocking anybody or slamming anyone. We just ain't gonna go through them anymore because it didn't go correctly the first time out. No papers were signed, nothing happened. They never you know, they never came through on their end, you know what I'm saying? We hustle on our end. They never came through on their end for us. I'm sure they take care of all their artists very well, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking anybody. All right, hold us relax. Right? Just making that clear. <laughs> we, we get it, we get it. I think we understand. Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, since you started the Underground Cycles contest, it's been a hell of a journey. Uh, a trip and a half, no doubt. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you've learned since you started? To come, you know what I mean? To work hard, you know what I'm saying? You know, at, at St. Andrews, we were working hard, but we were crazy stressed. You know what I mean? Because of certain things that were going on at the time. And so we... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, picture, picture rapping. Your 
your shit in front of everybody who you've been listening to for seven years, you know what I'm saying? It was tough, but we were on the ball. We still busted it, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't as good, so the biggest thing we've learned is to just, you know what I mean, work as hard as you fucking can. If I'm not pissing or sleeping, I'm working on A and B. And that's a gift, you know what I mean? That's a blessing to be able to do that, so just work as hard as you can on your shit. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so, uh, Hillary didn't just ask him, what's his name? Uh, Nos, Nosferatu Nose. Nosferatu, yeah. Nosferatu Nose. Yes. <laughs> uh, is his name? He's asking if he wants to get you on his shit, what does he do? Uh, he's gonna have to buff the pickle. No, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> Hit us up at, uh, ask, uh, the emails, man. Hit us up on the emails. Yeah. Try to be as professional as you can, you know what I mean? Even if you don't have a manager, front like you're the manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, be like, hi, my name's Dave, well, I'm the manager for Nosferatu Knows, and fucking, I was trying to, you know, do this track, whatever. And then our our manager, you know what I mean? Because I'm, you know, we're, we have a management team. Me, Bones, and I'm, and, you know, I can't drop his name. We'll just call him D right now. The third man. Yeah. We all are the management team, but he'll get that email to us, and you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We gotta hear your shit, check it out. And we're down for everything. We're down for everyone. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to change shit. Because the majority of the planet nowadays is hate. We're trying to change that into love. So we're down for everyone. Alright, another thing is asking if they decide to do Underground Cycles next year. Uh, what would you say, experience wise, you've learned that you'll give advice to the next group who goes through this and it happens? Work as hard as you can. Stay, don't read the forums on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because it, you know what I mean? It, as far as an artist goes. I'm not knocking any forums, but. If you're reading that shit, it'll fuck you up. And then on top of that, just promote and work as hard as you can. I don't know if they're gonna do another one, for sure. Not. But if they do, just work as hard as you can. And as far as the con, be respectful to everybody. And as far as the competition goes, be respectful to them, even if they don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? Keep it good and just stay focused. Work as hard as you fucking possibly can. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, other questions for you? Um, Alright, so who got you guys into side first? What would be your band pick of sides? Sorry, what? What would be your who got you into side? What what artist? I ICP, man. We've been bumping ICP years and years ago. The wicked clowns, you know what I'm saying? But it's the carnival, it's the puzzle. Pieces fall together and people end up where they're supposed to be if they keep their karma good. Karma is what brought us to the hatchet, for real. But ICP is uh, is the first artist that we've heard on the hatchet. Alright, well, Hillary just asked me, about what we're talking about, uh, there is uh, the good and the bad side when you're losing. Either way, they're still good. Uh, they're just asking, I quite think that it's possible that if you lose, you think you're going to be like the popular runner-up. And they actually be bigger than the person who took first. We're going to try our damnedest, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to think about either side, I don't want to jinx it, but either way, we're going to do our very fucking best, you know what I mean? Canonized Records, the label we're on now, their logo is a shield with a cross on it. So whether it's a shield or a hatchet, we're going to do our very fucking best. Alright, cool. Um, so you guys have a chance now that you know, we're all camping pretty much in the same area. DLC, Bagel Lovers, and you guys. Uh, you've got a chance to sit and chill with them both times now. I mean, it's going to chilling all over the place now. What are your feelings about DLC and you guys themselves? Uh, uh, what, Mariness, Mariness, that's, that's the name, Mariness. Uh, they're cool, they're cool guys. Mariness and, and Dirty D. I actually know another Dirty D from Denver. My boy, publicsandhavoc.com. Anyway, fucking, they're cool guys. You know what I mean? They're respectful enough. They're the shit, they're fresh. And they're doing their thing, for real. You know what I mean? They're trying to keep it as professional as possible. They are partiers, you know what I mean? They're, they're doing that thing. We got love for them. We got love for everybody in the contest. Too dirty, I guess. You know what I'm saying? We got love for him. I feel this shit. Jay Reno, he was the fucking man. He had the best words for us at St. Andrews. You know what I mean? He was the realest guy we talked to. But as far as PLC goes, they're cool guys. But uh, we try to keep them focused. Ever since we've been rappers, we say focus on us. Because if we focus on other people, we'll start to lose steam. You know what I mean? If we focus on what others are doing, our shit will end up sounding trying to be like what they do, you know what I mean? We do our own shit, but they're fresh, they're good guys. 
if you do get signed to uh, Psychopathic and you win this Underground Psychos contest, you just write this question. It's a good question. Uh, are you going to try to innovate and change the direction of Psychopathic music, or are you going to go basically the same strain of music that they've always had? Psychopathic, to me, has always been changing, you know what I mean? If you listen to The Calm, it sounds nothing like Riddlebox, you know what I mean? If you listen to Man's Myth, it sounds nothing like Most Tasteless, you know what I mean? So we're going to change and innovate personally. As far as changing the hatchet, you know what I mean? That's a bold statement to say, I'm going to come in and change all this shit. We're going to do with the wicked shit, because that's what we bring, you know what I'm saying? And that, I'm not talking about horrorcore, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about wicked shit on other levels. We're not talking about kill, rape, and hate your father, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about wicked shit, where you go in all different aspects of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, and plus, we're demon slayers. That's, you know, listen to the last track on the Unforgiven Forest. We bring that anti-demon shit, that anti-evil shit, so, and we keep it wicked all day. So, we'll do our very best to bring that shit, you know what I'm saying, different and fresh. We will not come with no stale record. If we make it, we will do our very best to make our shit bomb as hell. And that it will make sure. They won't put out a record that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Have you heard me? Yeah. What's he doing there? I heard the sampler. First time I heard it, I was like, what the fuck was that shit? I played it four more times, you know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling that shit hard as hell. We're both feeling that shit. Me, I love rock. You know what I'm saying? My, my favorite rock band is System of a Down. You know what I'm saying? They're the fucking bomb. And to hear Mad Rock singing like that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, they just, they bust it hard, hard as fuck. If anybody can innovate and change shit as well as anyone in the world, you know what I'm saying? Twisted can do it, and they flip the script. And it ain't all rock either, you know what I mean? Every other track is a fucking, is a rap, it's a rap song and then rock song. So it's for everybody, man. And I don't know, I'm feeling that shit, it's the bomb. So uh, that's pretty much it. I guess we're gonna finish up the Axe Murder Boys interview, and uh, that'll be it. And we're gonna give you guys. Yeah, well, we'll give Otis the last word. Yeah, uh, oh, we got one for you. Anything to say before you head off? Because tomorrow's a big day. What do you have to say to the hundred and some jungles listening? We got ma major family love and much juggalo love. We're two real down ass juggalos. You know what I'm saying? We got love for the lovers, love for the haters, and God bless everyone. Much love. All right, thanks again, Otis. Thank you.